Yo, what's going on everyone? My name is Jesse. This is the Auditorium. I react to video game music as a musician myself. Today is the return of Persona 5 two-for-one video, which are songs that are connected, and that is Blood of Villain and Blooming Villain. I have checked out Blooming Villain a, a while ago, but it was from Strikers right here, and uh, <laughs> Purple Hair Face, shout out. And that was a while ago, and that, all I remember from that song was that it was kind of heavy. Dun, 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 dun. One of the more standout tracks that I can actually remember. But uh, I guess that wasn't the original, and these might be the original. I don't know, but that's just what I'm assuming. Anyways, Blood of Villain, and then Blooming Villain, uh, requested by DJ Singletone and JSB. Let's go. Starting with Blood. Kind of a short one. I just remember being like pretty metal in the Strikers version. That is a really nice synthesizer sound. Because you goosebumps kind of. Those synth stabs sound like uh, the Battle for Everyone's Souls. Okay, that sounds totally different. Whoa, that's cool. Ah. Oh. What's even weirder is that this sounds like unlike any other Persona song I've ever heard. Just the synth sound. Oh, the bass. The bass. Forget the synth, listen to the bass. Let's just go into blooming as soon as it ends. Oh, is it over? There's still time left. Okay, that's over. Uh, okay, blooming villain. Let's go. Sounds like a Devil May Cry song. Okay, so the theme is very synthy overall. It sounds like it sounds like a Marilyn Manson song. More groovy though than the Strikers one. Yeah, way more groovy and slower. Some palm mutes in the back. Ooh. Shoji really nailed like a lead guitar tone so well. It's so much louder than the rhythm guitar. It was so much louder than the rest of the song. You notice how it got like all quiet? That's a damn good melody though for the lead.
was great. You think after all this time of me hearing Persona, I would have like heard it all? Nah. Will it be like Beneath the Mask, or will it be like Rivers in the Desert, or will it be like Blooming Villain, or will it be like Insert Song here? We're halfway through, so I'm guessing at Luke 30. Da, da, da. Yeah. So it's pretty much what I'm getting from the song is that it's all the big build up for that big release of the solo lead, even the blood of villain. It's all for this big payoff. Yeah. And now we're just soaring in the lead. For a setting, I have no idea. Or context, but I'll try to guess. So, now that I've heard three versions of this song, I'm pretty much getting the idea of this is an important song overall. I'm not sure if it only belongs to P5. But it seems to be the uh, one of the highlight type songs. Just just based on the melodies alone, it seems like one of those standout type. Even for me, like I said, I recognized the original one I did way back when. My hair was a different color back then, so I still remembered the da 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 right. And that's if you think about it, that's pretty insane for me to remember anything from any song because of the sheer amount of volume that I check out. That being said, so let's start off with uh, the first one, Blood of Villain. Seems to be a just direct introduction to whatever's happening. I'm going to assume it is a boss fight since it has Villain in the title. So if I were to guess Blood of Villain, which by the way, says right here, OST 25, and then this one says OST 26. So literally quite right before. And based on that, I've seen very, very little footage of Persona. Seems to be like a RPG, so um, I would assume that that's like dialogue, or you just met this person, and it's like prepping you to fight him type of thing. It's, it sounds very specific, especially for the length of it, and the kind of like it's it sounds like suppressed. Like the song is not ready to take off yet. It's just more like introducing you to the do 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 do, and then finally battle starts type of thing that's what i get from it and now my almost two years of playing rpg straight and when i say and when i say that i want to like reiterate how weird that is like two years ago i didn't play any rpgs ever and i thought the genre was kind of lame and i would just never thought i would be playing one and now that's kind of all i play but i've noticed some tropes and things and it, it kind of puts me into that mindset so, but it's still a guess at the end of the day. But interesting though, is that it introduced something new to me in as far as Persona as a whole goes, is just like that synthy kind of, um, like we're paying attention to the synth of that song. We're still talking about the first one. And usually when I think of Persona, I think of bass, grooves, um, mostly grooves, a lot of different types of grooves. Sometimes Lin or like maybe party type music, jams, dancing, whatever, or guitars, electric guitars. This one had a very synthesizer sound. So even that stood out and it was only a minute, something long. And then we move on to Blooming Villain. And this one 
is again i heard the strikers version first and that one was like straight metal and fast but what's interesting though is i actually i remember the the rhythm part dun, 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 but i actually forgot about that lead dun, dun, da, da, da. and then it, it really like dawned on me why why i'm saying this sounds like an important song because that has now that i've heard that part again and i remember oh yeah this song has two iconic motifs in it. When you think of like an a memorable, iconic, etc., whatever song, you usually think of like one thing of, that stands out of that song, or one big idea or something. This one has two. So we have an iconic rhythm chunk, which I knew and I remembered, and then you have the people that remember probably the da 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 you know the big chorus section for a song to have two iconic melodies like that it's not easy to do and it's usually not like planned it's completely serendipitous so for those two reasons besides everything else i feel like that's why it's probably a severely like standout track because there's no way you cannot remember it and now that i've heard it again Hopefully. I don't think I'll ever forget, like, oh, yeah, this is... You know why? Because I'm going to say, oh, yeah, this is a song that has those two iconic memorable parts instead of just that one that I remembered way back in the day. So that's pretty unique. Not even just for Persona, just, like, in general. You don't really hear more than one really standout part of a song. Pretty cool. More groovy. This one had more of a slow, you know... It's like a 4-4 four, four type of cool groove. So if, if it is a boss theme, it made me think that the boss is maybe not so maniacal and twisted or something. Maybe just more laid back, kind of jester-like or very... I guess the only word I can think of is just like not serious. Um, this this And the reason I'm saying this is because right before I recorded this, I just did a Dark Souls video. So when we go from Dark Souls to Persona, uh, it's like night and day as far as energy and how I feel. So that's only because it's a recent, like 20 minute ago reaction that I am having that thought. Anyways, Blooming Villain, very good song. And I think now gonna be one of my favorites from Persona as a whole, because it's just so funny how much emphasis that lead chorus has that it completely like washes over the entire song from that point. And what's funny is that you can hear a new rhythm guitar part underneath that solo. It's just you can't even hear it. You just hear the chords playing very faintly. But the whole song is just like, nope, listen to this part now. It's so much louder than everything. And then it goes back down. But it's a good lead. I mean, I think that's one of those things where as a musician, like you come up with it and you're like, oh, ooh, ooh, this is good. This is good. And then you're like proud of it and you want to show it off. In this case, he's like, no, like, you're going to listen to this. Like, there's no way you're not going to listen to it. And I can't blame him. The tone he had on that guitar is superb. It sounds like the guitar is, like, soaring into the air. It's got all these delays and choruses and, I think, like, a phaser on it. It has a really good, creamy lead sound. Make me say some words over here. Anyways, thank you, JSB and DJ Singletone. That was great. And now I have three versions under my belt, and... I'm going to have to go check out the old one. How long ago was that, by the way? Now I'm curious. What's today? Today is the 17th of August. This was June 22. A year, 13 months later. <laughs> Just to give you an idea of how long it's been since I heard Blooming Villain last time. Damn, time flies. Anywho. My name is Jesse. This is the auditorium. Thanks to everyone that you see on the screen. Thanks to you for watching. We'll see you later, dudes and dudettes. Peace.